Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the month of May. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This reading may or may not be for you, and it is for any time in May. Okay, it ain't even May yet, so you know. It may or may not be for you, but it could resonate at any time. Could resonate right now, but you never know. May not resonate at all. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. King of Cups. Now, this is mastering your emotions. We have somebody here that um, is very emotionally balanced knows what their heart wants. You may be looking for love. You may be open to love, ready for love. Following your heart, perhaps. Thinking about it a lot, anyway. Yeah, you guys are really thinking about love quite a bit. You know? We're thinking about what your heart wants. This is like the angel of love to me. That's what I just saw when I looked at this card. Interesting. Four of Wands reversed. You may be in a situation or you have been in a situation where you're not happy. Okay. Four of Wands reversed. I mean, that's kind of like a lack of happiness here. Yeah, maybe maybe you, you're looking for a commitment, right? Maybe you're not in a happy commitment and you're looking for something more emotionally fulfilling or you're looking for a commitment, you know? You're looking for happiness. King of Pentacles reversed. Whew. Things are unstable. Things are unstable. Your finances may be a little screwed up you know maybe you're focusing on work too much maybe you're working too hard you work 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 and it's affecting your heart it's affecting your relationships and look at this help help so you know this is help arriving though it's like somebody help may be arriving Somebody may be coming to help you, so just rest assured. Mm. Somebody is probably coming to the rescue, or you're coming to somebody else's rescue. You know, this is the King of Wands. The, the, this could be you, if you're well, male or female, but this is a male that... You know, you may be deciding that, or you may have to go rescue somebody, or maybe somebody is waiting for you to come rescue them. I don't know. Somebody could be coming to your rescue as well. You know, if you are the the woman watching this, we could have a man coming into your life that is very uh, emotionally driven, and they're coming to the rescue of somebody that has their heart in check. But this one is like... I mean, this is the King of Wands going to protect. He's, he's coming to save the day. And I keep thinking I'm going to get my wife. That's what I, when I look at the car, I thought I'm going to get my wife. So I don't know what that means. Emperor. So this is you right in the middle. Taking control, taking taking the lead here. And it's funny because in the I just did a daily. None of these other cards came up. These two came up, but this one was before this one. So that they were definitely shuffled because this one would have came out first. Interesting. So anyway, this is you taking the lead, being the boss, going protecting. So you guys are in the in going to go protect something. You may be protecting yourself. Your guard is up. You may be guarded. 
You may need to protect yourself. You could be dealing with a thief. I just got to be honest with you. You could have a thief around you. I got to be honest with you. Maybe, maybe you know that. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who's just after your money. <laughs> just be careful. Anyway, um, thinking about walking away from something. I think that you are. You're thinking about walking away from something that is emotionally unfulfilling to you. Ooh, this is the world card. It's reversed. There's some unfinished business here. There's unfinished business. Something isn't over. It's like you're feeling empty and lost and something needs to complete. A chapter, a phase of your life, it needs to be complete. There may be some unfinished business. There could be... I mean... Let me get the rest of the cards. Something. This is like a tower moment, even though this is the Knight of Swords. You know, I feel like this. I mean, I see this lightning. It reminds me of that. This is like there's going to be some sort of conflict that comes about that probably forces you to protect yourself. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm not trying to scare you, okay? This is a conflict, something happening really, really fast that makes you put your guard up. That makes you defend yourself, that makes you take control, that makes you, you know, walk away perhaps. i got to be honest with you. Or makes you go in a different direction. We're going to have to clarify this card right here. Ooh. Yeah, you are definitely going to be dealing with a little bit of conflict and I am not trying to scare you. Um, this is this is an unexpected unexpected news that you probably don't want to hear. Unexpected conflict. Pro there could be a fight. There could be an argument that makes you leave. You may decide to leave without closure. It's just I'm leaving. You may decide. You know what? It's too late. I'm not sure what the hell this is. We're going to have to clarify this card right here. The challenge is saving a situation. This is the challenge position. Because he's saving her. He's the hero, right? Right now you're focusing on a situation that needs closure. It's like you need you need closure. You need this to end. But there's too much conflict. There's too much fighting. There's too much. It's almost like bitterness. That's what I see. That's what I feel. And it's like you're just, maybe you're trying to keep things structured. You're trying to keep things organized. But financially things are a freaking mess. And you're, you're just ready to walk away. And follow your heart. That's what I think this is. Now this this right here is the future. Somebody coming to help. Somebody may be coming to help you. Now this is the Eight of Wands. This is very fast. Rapid movement. Something could happen very, very fast. <laughs> Be careful. You don't want to get hurt. You know, you could get burned. If you move too fast, you could get burned. Um, be careful. You could get burned. Maybe you have been burned by a person. You know, be burned can be, that's like a metaphor, right? So you, you could be dealing with a th thief. Just be careful. Anyway, um, Six of Swords, reluctant to move on. Reluctant to transition. You may be in a state of limbo. 
something something is happening fast something is happening very fast and you are reluctant to leave it behind And I think whatever this is, you're ready. You're ready, though. It's like you're ready, but you're reluctant, which is, I know that's that's uh, contradictive, it's, but that's the way it is. That's the way life is. You're ready, but fear is an issue. Anyway, I feel like you are losing energy. You're losing drive. You're losing ambition. You may be, your health may be declining, or you're just losing desire to put in effort into a very conflicting situation it's like it's trying you you're really being tested here you could be dealing with an individual or individuals who steal your energy on a regular basis and you know you're just wanting to close this chapter it's like hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of players here. I feel like there's a lot of tension. And I think you're ready to just let it all go. I do. The challenge is finding the courage and the confidence and the strength to follow your heart and go after what you want. Don't let other people hold you back. Because it feels like there's other people. There's too many people. There's too many fingers in the pie. And, you know, you're you're probably feeling lost and empty. And because there's just too much conflict here. There is conflict. There's too many people in the mix. And Now you have to make a tr choice. You need to make a stressful decision. Which direction do you got to go? You're probably divided. You probably have divided loyalty here. Where do you which way do you go? Do you do you go with your father or do you go with your fatherhood responsibilities or do you go with your partner? You know what I mean? Which one do you choose? Do you go with your parent or do you go with your partner? Which one do you choose? You know, there could be some conflicts in the family. There could be conflicts between parents and children or parents and your love lover, you know, whatever the case is, and now you have to make a choice, you know, <laughs> which way do I go? Because this is this is too much conflict. I think that you're reluctant to move. Maybe you need to move. Maybe you really need to move because you're dealing with a very unstable situation. You could be dealing with a person that is unstable and all they do is work 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 and they expect you to do the same I don't, I don't know I don't know <laughs> but we are dealing with somebody who is wanting money and you may be like it's not about the money I don't know where that's coming from either but anyway I feel like we have some rapid change that is coming in and you are going to have to make a choice probably between two people and I think what you know what I think these are these, these two people are I think that you have you have a divided loyalty between a family member and or your fatherhood responsibilities or whatever like something to do with a father whether you're the father or your father or whatever and your partner you know what I mean and now you have to make a choice as to you know what is going to be happy maybe you were hoping to have a happy ever after family whatever and this ain't working out So somebody may be deciding that they're gonna they're gonna go in a different direction. We're gonna we're gonna but they've been reluctant thinking about it. I think that you need to be really careful here because somebody may not be telling the whole truth. The seven of swords, you could be dealing with a liar, and you definitely could be dealing with a thief. And um there could be a thief in the mix that is is not telling the truth maybe they're just after the money or this home or the roof or <clears throat> excuse me it's like you're being used by somebody and there's difficult communication here there is there definitely is i think that 
somebody may be withholding communication, to, you know, because they're secretive or they're keeping secrets from you or they're using the silent treatment as a tool. It looks like whoever you're dealing with is stealing your energy and they're causing conflict in your life and you're sick of it. And I think that you're trying to save a relationship, but you're dealing with an individual who doesn't see eye to eye with you, okay? Um, you may decide that it's time to move on without closure, okay? Without, you know, I can't. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, because we have Capricorn here, we have Capricorn here, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, quite a bit. Um, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Did I say Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? I think I did. With the with the Lord, the world card, we have the fixed signs: Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus. Um, so you definitely have a bunch of people here that are causing conflict in your life. There's like there's definitely too many fingers in the pie, and now you have to make a decision, a choice as to whether you want to keep doing this or not. You're probably thinking about breaking this bond, breaking this chain, removing yourself from this toxic situation, taking back control of your life right now because, you know, I think that's what's happening here. Somebody is about to break a chain. They're going to about to cut the cord. They're about to break free, you know. Somebody is about to, you know, break the shackles because this is too, there's too much animosity here. Um, and I think it's you. You are probably taking back control of the situation um, and letting go of an old idea, letting go of an old way so that you can just be happy. It's like, I, I can't stay. I can't stay here anymore. Um, yeah, letting go of, of, of some heartache, letting go of some pain, okay? Because the Three of Swords reverse, this is, you know, we all know what the Three of Swords is. It's heartache, it's pain. She's, look at that being stabbed these this is the haunted tarot something like that but anyway um it's taking that sword out is and, and allowing yourself to heal it's like you know what it's, i gotta heal i gotta release this pain so that i can you know live again so I feel like we have somebody here that is ready to let go of a painful situation that they have held on to. It's really, you know, there, there's been a lot of heartache. There's been a lot of suffering. There's been a lot of conflict. There's been a lot of pettiness. There's been some deception. There has with the Seven of Swords. There's been some lies. There's been there's some animosity. And I think that you have really good intentions here. I do. I think that, you know, your your heart is saying, you know, it's time to go in a different direction. It's time to honor my heart and staying in this hell hole, isn't it? So, you know, you guys may be deciding that it's time to go in another direction. I mean, this there's too much conflict here. There's too many family feuds. I think you may be turning away from a family feud, a family issue, a family dynamic. It's time to go. There's no... There's no happiness here. It's time for me to end this chapter in my life and and go. This this is not it. This is not it. This is not happiness to me. So I think that you guys are turning away from a family feud, a family situation that has really broken your heart. I think it is heartbreaking. But I think that you you know that you know you have to take control, that you have to take the lead. And it's gonna take hard work, it's gonna take effort, but you have the skills and you have the power and you know it. So I think, see you guys uh, taking the power back, taking charge of a situation and working hard to um, bring abundance to your life. And you, I think that you know that the only way to do that is to put in effort and protect yourself. So I do feel like you are about to protect yourself and... and Stop moving forward in a situation that isn't stable. I think that you're ready to just give up on it. I'm not going to put an effort into a situation where there's no stability here. 
So you guys have been in a situation that is draining you. Seriously, it's draining you. And I think your heart is saying, you know, it's time to stop playing this game. And I think you're going to be making a choice between two people. Because there's been too much feuding. There's been too much fighting. You know, there has. And it's just like, I can't do this anymore. I don't have any more energy for this. So, yeah, it's over. It's done. So I see you guys completing a very difficult chapter in your life. This is the Ten of Swords. Is It's the end. It is the end. It's the end of the struggle. It's the end of the pain. It's over. It's peace. I am going after my peace. So I feel like we have an end of a very difficult period in your life. And it's because you decide to do what's right for you. I think that you do. I think that this, I mean, the, this is it. You decide to do what's right for you and end an unhappy family situation, of whatever, relationship. It's like, no, no. This is not the, the peaceful resolution that I was looking for. And I think you're in search for peace, right? You're in search for that peaceful resolution. And I think that you know what this ending, you know, I just, it's the sun will shine again. You know, it's like there will be a new dawn. You will see a new dawn. You will. So a new dawn is emerging. And I think that you are about to seriously begin a new chapter in your life. Be careful. Something is probably going to happen really, really fast that shakes up your foundation. And I don't need the tower card. I, I know that. Your family situation. Whenever I see the lightning. But anyway, we're not going to get into it. But somebody is going to come to help. Maybe it's you going to help. Maybe there's a fight at home. Yeah, I don't know. But there could, there's definitely going to be an altercation here that probably pushes somebody over the edge and out the door. So yeah, Aries, I feel as though the worst is over. You have reached the end of a very difficult road. And I see you gained, you were gaining a lot of wisdom. This is wisdom. You have gained a lot of wisdom through suffering. That three of swords, through suffering. And it's like now you know. This is it. Now you know that it's time to go, whatever that means. Nine of Cups reversed. There's no happiness here. There isn't. There's no wish fulfillment here. There's no abundance here. No happiness. So you guys have been in a situation where there's no growth. I can't. I wish that I could, you know, change it up for you. And it's like, you know, I want happiness. So I think that you guys are making a decision to put your, you say, no more. That's what it looks like to me. It's like when you hold, I mean, this guy's got a gun. It's like, don't. I'm going to protect what I hold dear. So I, I really feel like you guys are taking back control of your life because you're not in a situation where there's any happiness, there's bickering, there's fighting, there's there's no coming together. It's like, no, I see that there's another opportunity to work with somebody else. So 
you could be receiving fast communication from somebody that wants to help you, that help you break free. That devil reverse, break free from this unhealthy situation. I see you breaking the shackles and moving very quickly towards a new direction. It's true, too, stepping right out of your comfort zone. Burst in the bubble, you know, it's like bursting that bubble. I'm, I'm stepping out. I'm stepping out of this situation. So I feel like you guys are probably going to, your heart is probably telling you that it's time to leave this unhappy situation behind you, even if you don't get the closure, because basically the time is now. You've cheated yourself long enough. You've cheated yourself of happiness. Seriously, cheated yourself of happiness, happiness. Okay, this is happiness. This is happiness. Cheated. You've and these are both reversed. <clears throat> so, you've cheated yourself of happiness and peace for long enough. There's no healing this situation, and I think that you are wise enough to know it. So anyway, that's what it is. That's what I got for me. I see you guys making a decision to. <clears throat> Quickly move, quickly, quickly move forward from a deceptive, painful ending that you can't really heal from. It's like there's no healing this situation because there's too much drama. There's too many people. There's, there's, there's too much conflict best thing for me to do is put my effort in, go someplace else, work with somebody else. Break free. Escape. This is, this is, they're like going to escape. I gotta escape. It's time for me to go. So I feel like you guys are, are going, you're leaving a situation behind that really just about broke you in some way, but you found your strength to deal with it. So you are finding your strength, okay? There's no wish fulfillment here. There's no happiness here. So anyway, I apologize that this is not all prettied up for you, but. I see you guys basically knowing what you need to do and doing it. Something is coming to an end. And I don't think you're happy about it. But you know it's the wisest thing to do. So anyway, good luck. <laughs>